Barack Obama spoke at the end of a day that really wasn't sabre-rattling so much as, as dither as the administration tried to work out what was happening in Crimea. You have to point out that this is a superpower who, along with its British uh, spying allies, uh, it was revealed, is able to collect the images of 1.8 million people sitting in their underwear in front of their webcams, and yet it seemed all day they were unable to work out what the uniforms of these soldiers in these airports in Crimea denoted, while armchair generals and news channels across America were pointing out that these were special special forces, some people saying that they were, they were Black Sea uh, units, uh, but clearly they were Russian troops. It took to the end of the day for Barack Obama to come out with what was a limper condemnation of, of what is going on in Crimea than his uh, officials came out with. Now, in his defence, his administration says he doesn't see this as a Cold War chess game. He sees that as history. His problem is that his opponent, Vladimir Putin, is a dyed-in-the-wool, born-and-bred Cold War warrior. And he is res responding in a way that uh, it seems to be following a Cold War playbook. So one four-star general, former four-star general I spoke to, uh, said that uh, the problem for Barack Obama is that Vladimir Putin has his number. He is playing him, and he knows exactly how America will respond. So sending in a, a certain number of troops, seeing if that leads to any kind of escalation, when it just uh, leads to some kind of rhetoric, uh, then it seems to now have been followed by a greater number of forces going in. So the administration's critics say that the danger isn't actually America being drawn into this military. It's the opposite. It's uh, the administration leaving a vacuum in the region, which is now being filled by Russia, and that increases the chances of clashes between the Russians, their allies in Crimea, and those forces that are loyal to the new government in Kiev. And in that environment, uh, there is a volatile outlook for the weekend.